Hello, welcome to the Friday, December 30th, 2016 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. We got some reports today from readers and also confirmed that with our own data that there appears to be quite a bit an increase in GRE traffic or generic route encapsulation. That's a protocol 47 over IPv4. Now, typically this protocol can be used to encapsulate anything within IPv4. After this IP header, you then have sort of a short header with, with essentially just the ethernet type of whatever comes next. In this case, the embedded Embedded payload is again another IPv4 packet that then carries a random UDP payload. Don't really see any pattern in this yet. It's uh, not at the level where I would call it a denial of service. Not really sure what this is about. Really just looks like, like a random traffic. Now, Mirai has sent uh, some traffic like this in the past, and also other denial of service uh, tools have used GRE, but uh, not really clear if this is related at all all at this point. If you do have any packets, or in particular, if you see any outbound traffic from your network matching that description, we would be really interested to hear from you to see where this all originates. And the US CERT today released a fairly detailed report about uh, some of uh, the hacking activity against uh, US political parties last year. They attributed to what they call Chrisley Steppe, which is uh, two different, actually, Russian hacking groups. The report is very detailed and nicely outlines uh, many of the attack techniques uh, that were used in this particular attack. So I do recommend that you read it. Don't get distracted by the politics around this. The report really has quite nice details about how these more advanced attacks work. Also, lots of indicators of compromise uh, are being released with the report. Be a little bit careful with the IP addresses. Uh, don't just blindly block all of these IP addresses. There may be some IP addresses in that list that are also useful. So they were just uh, used as part of the attack, but are also used for other useful services. And just as a quick summary, overall, the hacks in there aren't really anything fundamentally new. It's really just uh, the work they did and reconnaissance and such that always sort of distinguishes these more advanced attacks. Spear phishing, of course, again, you know, one of the vectors uh, they got into systems. And then good old SQL injection, another web application vulnerabilities, of course, were also at the top of the list. And in the past, we had a few cases where malware changed the router settings, often even without necessarily installing malware on a system, but using tricks like cross-site request forging. Well, in a new development, we now have mobile malware on Android that joins the fun here and does change DNS settings in routers. This particular piece of malware was called Switcher. It infects Android devices that download infected software from unofficial app stores, of course, and then brute forces router passwords in order to change DNS settings. Well, and that's it for today. A little bit shorter, but this is also the last podcast for the year. Next one will be on Tuesday. No podcast on Monday. Thanks to everybody who was listening all year long. And as usual, good reviews are always appreciated in various podcast distribution sites, wherever essentially you found this podcast and tell your friends about it. Thanks for listening and talk to you again on Tuesday. Bye.